Hey folks, Bear the Beer Guy here for iBuyOldBeer.com and I've got to make these videos why I uh, either have a sign that I'm thinking about or an example before it's either up on the wall or peddled and today we will discuss various tips and tidbits about the late 50s Ham's 4 Mug Sequential Blinking Neon. Easy for me to say. But it's got the HAMS with a capital A and lowercase a-m-m-s apostrophe in there too. And it blinks sequentially in order, ding, 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 very slowly, uh, in order. And it's a very tough sign to find. Why? Because it's monstrous. It's heavy. It wasn't made in great quantities. Uh, I think it's much tougher than the Cinerama. It is right up there for finding an example. And uh, neons, especially ones like this that were made in the late 50s and are heavy and have many mechanical components, are pretty hard to find. So you ready to learn a few things about the 4-mug blinking neon? Let's go. Well, here it is in all its glory. The bad thing about this one, but it can be fixed, is this one just lights up constantly. So you see our mugs down here on the bottom this sign has a motor in the back that that turns and it's got four fingers yes just like my fingers made of brass and as the motor turns blink the first mug goes reset second mug goes and i think it takes oh i don't know five seconds per mug but it goes in order and blinks up and the top stays lit like this now, I'll explain a few things. Uh, the top of this H does look a little discolored in the video, but trust me, in person, it lights up beautifully. And I believe this one has been redone at some point, uh, but many decades ago. And the thing is, is this sign is made up of two components. It's double stroke neon, so it is a pain, and it's expensive to have redone or rebent. But the thing is, if one part of it is broken and you have it redone, it usually stands out like a sore thumb. Because what you'll get on the older part is kind of a yellowing or mellowing of the tubes and it will not look as vivid and bright white as the rest of it. And <laughs> for people that are picky, anal retentive, or just have eyes, a lot of times this stands out. And I remember the first time I had one of these rebent, I believe it was to the tune of 450 bucks. So uh, it's not cheap. And uh, I will just show you what this is made of. These are lights here and they're plastic covers with an insert that is printed and double-sided. And those little inserts will only fit in here one way because you see they're uniquely shaped with the mug uh, coming off like it's got motion so those inserts will only fit in one way and a lot of times the inserts can be faded or cracked or broken and especially these covers I don't know of anyone that makes these covers but as you can see they are die cut to fit and to conform to these mugs so I very often on the rare chance that you see any of these parts for sale, snap them up. People will always want them or uh, they'll be in need. So if I ever see these mugs or covers, I grab them up. But here we'll back off a little bit and show you the lower mugs do not light up as much as they should. They do also have uh, interior neon in them and the guy who owned this disconnected them. But we're gonna get the motor fixed here in the future I just wanted to give you this video and we'll turn it around and look at the back. Here's the back of the Ham's 4 Mug Blinking Neon. And as you can see, the uh, various stickers, Lakeside Plastics, which was located in the Twin Cities and did have a fire burned down. They were the maker of a lot of ham signs. And here you can see too, this helps dating it, the different breweries of Ham's. Uh, Hams bought the Gunther Brewing Company in Baltimore on the far right. That didn't very last very long. Los Angeles, San Francisco, and St. Paul. So that can be specifically dated using those breweries. And like I said, 
1958-59 would be a good guesstimate on this. But here's one thing that if your ham sign you're contemplating buying is working or I don't know, the neon tubes are intact, that's a huge thing. And a lot of times you can, uh, a neon tester will tell you if the tubes are intact and will work. But boy, if, I mean, if you see a sign like this in any condition or want to buy it, these transformers are hard to find and they weigh a ton. But here's the key, and my partner Steve Miner clued me in on this. There's a single screw here, and this door pulls off, and I'm not going to yank all those out, but you can see see the sequential four blinking mug neon in this motor and those little fingers in there. I wish I could yank it out and show you a little more uh, of the guts, but it's essential that this motor is in there. Uh, boy, those... Uh, not motor, there are two motors in this. Uh, sorry, I'm jumping around here, but to have this box in here is everything. So this sign can be repaired with a new motor to work and blink in succession. So I think my partner, see this little black door just hinges in here, one screw comes off. And this sign was uh, found on Facebook. And of course, there were about uh, six, eight people that were in line. Somehow I got picked, even though I was second. Went down and met the owner, and he's had it for, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And uh, we told some stories. If you ever go to someone's place that has a sign, always be sure to ask them, do you have any other stuff? Because very often, uh, well, there's two different ways I've found. Either the person has a few items, and... This guy was in the bar business, or this is just a one-off that was saved by default. I'm going to switch to my pretty face here. But you never know what they might have. And in this case, I got uh, lucky and got some other small ham signs. And uh, it was a good ending to the story. And now I've got a ham's four-mug neon. So, bury the beer guy in my beer room. Uh, make it another video about the ham's four-mug blinking neon. Take care. Subscribe. Uh, follow. We appreciate. Uh, I always like hearing that people enjoy these videos because uh, I enjoy making them and this is a learning experience and process. The beer world is a good place. Take care. See you at a show soon.